And we had to take the tire off in order to be able to get our impact gun in here to get the clutch off. Here's the clutch. This nut here, we're using a 17 millimeter. It may be different on yours, check it. But pretty much the same way we took off the variator, we take off the clutch. And that one nut on the outside, hang on to the clutch bell on the outside here. Take off that nut. The bell slides right off on the outside. You see a little dust we're getting in there? That's from the brake pads. Or from the clutch pad drop. Now, once you get the bell off, the whole clutch and pulley assembly all slides off just like the variator did. And there's your clutch and pulley system, and here's your clutch. Now we're going to replace this clutch with a new MRP performance clutch. And the part number for the CN250 clutch is MP03589. And that's the one we're going to put on our CN250 here today. Pretty nice looking clutch. Mm -hmm. Okay, while we're replacing the clutch, you want to replace the torque spring that's in there as well. We've got a prototype torque spring from MRP that they want us to test out. And since we're doing the clutch and the variator upgrade and all, we might as well try out this new torque spring. As you'll notice, this is going to be a little bit shorter than the stock one, but it's a tougher spring. Now what this should translate in for us is it should give us even more low end torque. It should allow that um, clutch to grab a lot sooner. Okay, in order to take your clutch apart, we're using an inch and five eight socket. Yours may be different, check it, but it's a very large socket. They're hard to come by, so you may want to research that before you tear this all apart. But what I do is I lay the clutch assembly with the pulley side down and the clutch facing up. If you place your foot on either side of the clutch, there's a spring underneath it here. And what you want to try to prevent is that spring from popping this clutch up when you release this nut. Lift it up like that. Now you can take this off, and your clutch is inside. Now this one has actually had the uh, Melosi white spring put in it already. Take the clutch out, set that to the side. Your uh, new spring goes right on top. There we go. This goes on top there. Okay, once you get your clutch set back on, your, your torque spring in, your clutch set back on, line that up and just reverse the process. Put your feet on either side, line it back up, put your flat nut back on. Now you gotta be careful putting this flat nut on. It's really easy to get it cross threaded. And there you have it. Now you can slide the whole slide face pulley right back onto the shaft where it was. Then you take your clutch belt, wipe that out, clean that up real good while you're in there. Now while you're here, check in the clutch belt. If you can see, this particular clutch bell here has been discolored. That means this clutch bell has been heating up. If that's the case and you see it purple, you'll want to check when it's running if it wobbles. If it wobbles, it's out of true and that's going to trash your clutch. So you want to check that and inspect that while you're in there doing this upgrade. If it is, give us a call. We can get you a new clutch belt. Slide that right back on there. Then our nut goes right back on the outside.
Perfect. Now you take a drive belt, inspect this for wear. And this one doesn't look too bad. It's a little used. You see a little bit of string coming out here on the end. But um, I think we'll be able to continue to use this. When you put your belt on, put it in your slide pulley. And a little trick is to squeeze that a little to get that belt to go down inside there to give you the room to slide this on the variator side. Now your belt should be pretty tight to go on there. It shouldn't go on real loose. Get that up on the boss pin like that. Then take your variator fan, your new variator fan. Put that back on. Make sure that your splines are lined up. Your washer. The nut goes back on. There you go. And then tighten it back up. Make sure you get that on nice and tight and we're good to go. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start the buggy up while it's up on the jack and let it roll a little bit just so that you have any problems you know it before you put it all back together again. So, you've seen an entire transmission upgrade from the variator, the roller install, clutch, and clutch uh, torque spring. That's pretty much what you can do inside the transmission. Keep checking back with Kid and me, we'll show you more stuff you can do to pep up your buggy or your scooter. We carry everything MRP, anything you could possibly want, we can get for you. Just give us a call, 717-825-0669, or check out our website at kidandmecarts.com.